that works. My head's not cut off. <laughs> episode of the feminist tea party I don't know why I'm talking like this it just it just sticks. is it because it's special <laughs> it's a special episode we will be covering the best and the worst things about being a woman we just want to say this is a um, like a fun um, special we just like thought that you guys might enjoy we're gonna start off with the good or the bad? Best, I think. Good. The best? And my favorite. Oh. Oh, can we... Eh. They're ah. there. <laughs> boobs. Yes, boobs. Boobs are so great. I used to hate my boobs, actually, because I thought they were too big and I wanted up a surgery. Oh my god! You know what I used to do? I used to, like, pad them down because I thought they were too big. At least you're tall and you have a torso. I feel like... Your boobs I was, think of your... <laughs> because I'm tiny, I'm only 5 feet tall. I feel like sometimes when I sit down, you can't really tell where my stomach starts and my boobs end. Like, they're all, like, squished in together. But I have grown to like them. When she met a, a good friend of mine, the first thing that she said was, Oh my god, your boobs are amazing. So yes. That's great. And boobs in general are amazing. Yes. They feed people. They do. Somehow, it's offensive to see women nursing and giving nutrition to their children. But that's what boobs are for, and secondary to have fun, so... Yes. Yay. Boobs. For the negative, uh, we had pretty much the same thing, which was bathrooms. Specifically, just the, the line, line is Ugh. the worst. If you are a woman that's ever gone to like a movie theater or like an amusement park or like a Broadway show or whatever, the line is so fucking long. Mm -hmm. um, and the men never have a line. Have you, have you gone into the men's room to pee? Besides the line, I feel like a lot of men and, and boys in general, they think like the woman's bathroom is like this heavenly nice place where only like bubbles and strawberries have. I don't know what they think it is, but it is gross in there. I... I don't know if it can get really gross. It can get super gross. I mean, we're humans. We shit too. Yes. And it's just like blood and piss and, and you know, we don't, we what don't. What bathrooms are you using? I mean, so? I, I'm <laughs> telling you. And also, um, we don't like sit in a, a oh, toilet. Oh, yes. So that we, we, ha we also worst. have aim issues, okay? If you've been holding your piss in for a while and you go to the bathroom, that is a workout for your legs because you are squatting for like a good 30 seconds. So another thing that I'm not a fan of is those big ass fucking slits on the side. People looking? Listen, <laughs> I go above and beyond trying to show people that I'm not looking into their <laughs> skull. Like I'll just be like, okay. Have you ever like <laughs> locked eyes with somebody in a stall? And no! Just, that's happened to me. Oh my god. <laughs> I think they need to work on making that door bigger so you have better privacy. Another good about Another good? Woman. I have here um, expressed emotion. So I, I'm a very emotional person. Yes. You are, but it, it's not like terrible. I, at least, even though this is part of patriarchy, I get to express myself. And even though people may say like, oh, women are hysterical, whatever, the fact that we can cry in public or just cry at all i mean this is something that feminism combats but um men aren't usually it's an issue when men cry or like men feel super unmanly when they express any emotion that's not like rugged and mm -hmm. or, you know like anger and stuff and women are definitely society f is much more okay to an extent not too much you can't be hysterical i feel like it's so cathartic to like just like get oh, it yes. out i mean like you feel good after it yes even even if like it doesn't fix the problem but it's just it's some kind of action that you can make and it, it not necessarily sad stuff either like you can no. express positive emotions not not all girls are like that but the fact that we have the option to be like that yeah it's it's a it's a good plus for us we extend that invitation to men to just just do it you'll feel so much better trust me 
and then like go have a scotch afterwards. The next negative periods God. are the worst. I'm being messy right now, I'm just letting you know. Like, I just cannot. Are we connected? Because I'm like a week away. I'm not being messy yet, but I'm having, I might be like, synced up. It's a problem. I just, it's not great. And then this is, yeah. I know it's like natural and it's, you know, but it's like, it's fucking gross. It is disgusting. I got mine when I was 12. I got so mine when I was nine. I didn't oh, even know God. I did <laughs> her thing. I would point to women. I was like, did she get it too? Did she get it too? Am I being punished? Is it just me? Is it just me? I thought it was just me. <laughs> it's also like expensive because pads and tampons ain't cheap. They're not. And you gotta buy those consistently. That's why the tampon tax should kind of be something um, to be that, removed. Yeah. <laughs> I do want to say that not um, every person who identified as, as a woman uh, gets period. Mm -hmm. And even though we're seeing it as a negative, for those uh, people that identify as women and do not get their periods, who wish that they could because that also deals with infertility and maybe it's a good thing. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. We see we see it at, we you know we see it as a negative. It's but an we just want to most yes. of the time, but you know it's it can mean it's a an lot annoying to some. thing. But yeah. um, definitely for fertility wise, we need it. Also, we don't speak for all women. Not every woman sees a period as uh, a negative, but um, yeah. Like, have you ever had a pregnancy scare and you get your period and you're like, yes. We're going to transition into a best, which is kind of related to that. Sometimes it is the wrong time for this, and you don't want that to happen. Sometimes it is a great thing, and I think uh, women are very, literally, strong to do this. Another good and best thing about being a woman is giving life. This is a superpower. I mean, like, y'all, you're making a human. Uh, we came from... Somebody's sperm, okay. <laughs> and an egg, and we latched ourselves onto um, our mother's uterus. We grew, came out of her vagina, or out of her body, um, and now we're like full-grown human beings with the ca capacity mm -hmm. to make another human being. That's like, that's that's crazy. I just think the whole process is fascinating, and... Um, my cousin Noelia uh, is about to give birth for the second time. I don't personally When they show you kids, how they move like, in there, oh! Or like when she tells me like, you have two heartbeats. You know, oh, sometimes you have a penis inside of you for nine cray. months. Can you believe that? You have a penis, if you have a boy inside your body, you made a penis. You make men. Why there's I'll no matriarchy, I would just <laughs> would never understand. Oh, uh, there we go. Moving on to another negative, which is a big problem. Which wh which which one are you gonna talk about? Because there are a lot of big problems. Slut shaming. We live in this dichotomy where you either have to be, you know, all virginal, pure, good girl, or you are a complete slut. It's definitely makes it hard for um, us women to go out and date, um, to uh -huh. or express any kind of like. Um, sexuality because we're afraid of being called um, a slut or a whore a, a slut or a whore she's so dirty for men it's like the, the total opposite it's like well if the you more don't bodies they get right the more they're respected the more they're respected for Amber Rose had a really great video of taking the negatives of slut shaming and like turning it on its head and being she's walking home from like a one-night stand with mm -hmm. I think like Matt McGorry or something. You know how they call it like the walk of shame. You know, people snicker at you. They're like, oh, look at that slut. Obviously she mm -hmm. like just had like a one night stand or whatever. But in the video, people were like congratulating her. Like, hey girl, did you have sex? And she's like, damn right, I just did. And that's like how it should be. Like it shouldn't be this whole like, oh, you're such a slut, you had sex or like you have no respect for yourself because you, like to like suck dick <laughs> you right. know we also have the opposite which is prude you know right. like if you don't have sex you're prude and it's like if you are not you're sexual, wrong if you do you're wrong if you don't because if i if i have a lot yeah. of sex there's something wrong with me too and if like you don't for whatever reason that's personal you don't have to give a reason for not being sexually active like if you want to go have all the sex you want 
if you don't want to have sex, then that's perfectly okay too. Because they're going to talk about you either way. Just do your thing, girl. Yes. Alright. Another good best of being a woman. I love a good underdog story. Kind of like started at the bottom, now we're here kind of thing. Our underdog story is not complete yet. We, we haven't reached everything that we want to, but I think we're doing a pretty good job. I hope that we continue to tell our story and continue to grow in. For me, I don't know, I, I like it. It's great to get to a point where you're just like, I did this, I fought for this, and it wasn't just handed to me. I, yes, <laughs> I, I, know, I for, for reasons. This, we definitely have a lot more to talk about these like, you know, best and worst things about being a woman. Please comment down below what is the best thing about being a woman and what is the worst thing about being a woman for you. Um, if you agree or disagree with any of the things that we that we said, because I feel like some of them can go either way. I feel like I just vented. Chilling. Go find your girlfriend, you know, and just like have like a vent out section. Have session. a glass of wine. Have a glass of wine and just talk about you know a mug of you know yeah, a mug of tea. I want if you out there are a person who identifies as a man to sit together just like us and if you have things to complain about the worst and the best and worst things about being a man too because like what if they want to talk about how they just cannot express emotion or, i bet that a lot of the things that you're going to say that is worse are things that are imposed exactly by patriarchy like the whole thing about oh i hate paying on a date well then can you please have women and men have equal pay you have a lot of feelings about this I mean, which is good because you get to express your emotions. Yes. All right. Well, you guys, thank you for watching. Make sure to comment, like, uh, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Best and worst things about being a woman. Best thing about being a woman is I have you. Yay. Yes.